recently posted a video giving you tips on avoiding buying fake bags from the internet, particularly pre-loved bags. And I said one of the riskiest things you can do is buy from sites where you're buying from individual sellers. There were a variety of reasons for that. If you go watch that video, which I will have linked below, you can get more information on that. And I have for you today a coach unboxing that I purchased from eBay from an individual seller. And I mentioned this in that video that I had just purchased a coach bag from eBay and that the price was too good to be true, one of the warning signs, but that I felt good about it. So we're gonna open this up and see if I got scammed or not. Fingers crossed that I didn't. Stay tuned. Hi YouTube, Autumn Beckman here. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My channel is all about luxury living on a budget from high-end luxury handbags and small goods to the everyday luxuries of life. If that sounds interesting to you, please make sure you subscribe, click the bell notification icon to be notified when I post new videos and be sure to like the videos that you enjoy. And one of the perks of subscribing to my channel is you get to see my community post on your YouTube homepage where I post deals, discount codes, sales, and rare finds related to these beautiful things we love. And I think you have to be subscribed to see those. And just this morning, which is not anywhere near the time that you're watching this video, I posted some incredible deals and a sale that was ending that day. And you would only see that if you were subscribed. So make sure you click that button, please. All right, let's get into this. I have already cut the tape on the box, so we're gonna open it up together. And what do we have here? Tissue paper. And I said in that previous video that the price was too good to be true on this bag, but that I felt good about it. And that was because I checked the seller's other items. And sometimes people will have something that they're selling that has nothing to do with anything else that they have in their closet or the other products they're selling. That was the case here. This was somebody selling things like comic books and I don't even remember, stuff like that. And then there was this one random handbag in there. So my suspicion is that they didn't know what they had when they priced this. All right, I didn't know people were still using styrofoam peanuts, did you? <laughs> Those are so messy, okay. I haven't seen those in so long. It's it's odd to see them again. It's like bringing back retro vintage memories here, of old unboxings of things. It's so rare anymore that I buy anything from individual sellers. I'm not used to things being wrapped this way. This is wrapped really well though. They have it packed well with tissue paper and the styrofoam peanuts and bubble wrap. They did a good job, at least with the packing. It's in a dust bag too, which is really nice. Not a coach dust bag, but that doesn't mean anything necessarily. So let's open it up, untie it, open it here and see what we have. It's dark in there. It looks like the bag. It doesn't smell. What have we got? This is a limited edition coach handbag that sold out right away when they came on the market. Hello. This is, I'm gonna bring it closer. There she is. This is a coach cash and carry tote in the 22 size, which means it's 22 centimeters across this way. And the color on this is saddle. And you can tell what's special about this, besides being a coach cash and bag, those are all special, is it has this debossing on the front here. I will read that to you in just a minute and give you a better look at it, but let's take a look at the rest of the bag. We have feet and what looks like brass. Stamped here in gold, it says original glove tan leather. My understanding is that means this is a 1941 bag, which would make sense for a coach cash-in. It's plain on the back and the sides. Oh, and right up here, it's fallen inside, we have our little coach hang tag, which has the coach logo on one side and the same on the other. We have glazing on the sides, a contrast stitching, and a, is it white or is it an off-white? Looks like an off-white. Now let me say something here about this bag. Winnie B. L. V. bought one of these when they were brand new. And I just rewatched her video to prepare myself for this one. And it was pretty funny because first of all, she's hilarious. If you don't know Winnie BLV, you must go check her out. She's one of my very best friends here on YouTube and one of my confidants when it comes to treating YouTube like a business, which we both do. And what's funny is in her video, which was posted about a year ago, so that's when this bag was released, that would have been, I'm filming this in January of 2023. So that would have been January, 2022, right around there that they released these. But she's particularly funny in that video. 
And she said that the reason she bought this bag was because of me, because I sent her a link to it and she immediately loved it and bought it. Now I remember there being four different colors of this bag and I remember all of them selling out very quickly. I remember being tempted by it. I don't remember why I didn't buy it. Actually, it probably had a lot to do with these super thin straps and I'll talk more about that in a minute because I've totally changed my mind on them. I used to not like them. I thought they were terrible. I have a different viewpoint now and I'll tell you why. But anyway, these sold out right away. They are pretty impossible to find. I don't know how I found this one. I mean, I found it on eBay. That's how I found it. But why I was even looking for it, I must have been just searching for Coach Cashin. If you're interested in getting one of these, good luck because they're pretty impossible to find. I just spent several minutes trying to find another one. I didn't see one anywhere. I did a Google search. I also checked eBay. I checked Poshmark. I checked Mercari nothing. If you're interested, let me tell you some keywords. And also, let me do that in just a minute because the reason I'm still so close to you is because I wanted to show you the rest of the bag on the inside, so let's do that. I've gotten sidetracked here. I was about to open the bag and I was reminded of something that Winnie said in her video, which was that her little magnetic tab here wasn't sticking. Took the strap out, I'll show that to you in a second. Mine, fortunately, is staying stuck. Um, hers was just popping out because her bag was so structured, so I'm curious, I'll have to ask her whether hers still won't close, or if it does now. Mine is closing great, no problems at all. It's this little tab here with a magnet there, and then on this side there's a magnet, and those just attach together. Let's look at the inside here. We get all the straps and things out of the way. The inside is lined in leather. Let's try to get better light on that, shall we? How's that? That's better. The inside is all lined in leather. On the front, it has this card slot, and on the back, it has a zipped compartment. That little chain thing that you see is a hallmark of Coach Cashin bags. If you don't know who Cashin is, it's Bonnie Cashin, the original designer back in the day of those vintage Coach bags that we love so much. That's lined in a textile smooth zipper and you have the story patch there. There's a fabric maiden tag right here and it says made in the USA from imported materials. There's also a D-ring here and a D-ring here. Okay, I'm going back over there. That's better. I was way too close to you. So it also comes with this strap, one of those nice thick sturdy web straps that Coach does. And as I was preparing for this video, I was trying to remember who started this trend because as comfortable as these are and as trendy as they've become in the past few years, they're really not very luxurious in my opinion. But you see them on so many luxury bags these days and I know it's all about comfort. I mean it doesn't it, it works with this because we're used to seeing these things together now, but it doesn't really work with this. <laughs> you know, this should have a nice thinnish, maybe one inch max leather strap that matches the bag and not this. At least they should give you the two options, but they didn't. This is in what I would call an orange. Winnie was calling it buttercup. That's probably more accurate than orange. It's definitely got a yellow tone to it. And then it has coach and brown with stripes on the edge and a few pieces of leather trim that do match the bag. It also has these snap hooks to attach it. And this is how the bag looks crossbody. I think it's a fabulous size. I just love all of these boxy bags that have come out in the past few years. I think they're wonderful. Which reminds me, I was going to say, I think the webbing strap, you guys correct me if I'm wrong, but I feel like the first time I saw it on a luxury bag was the Louis Vuitton Multi Pochette. Anyone remember seeing it before then? Let's talk color options on this bag and keywords if you're looking for one. There were four colors. This one is Saddle. The only other one I could even find pictures of online was Vanilla, which is a yellowy off-white and it had a pink strap. There was also a light pink one and a light purple one. Now keywords, Coach Cashin, Coach Cashin Tote, Coach Cashin Carry, C-A-R-R-Y. This is the 22 size, so Coach Cashin 22, or Coach Cashin Tote 22, or Coach Cashin Carry 22, any combination of those. Coach Cashin would be the most important keywords to put in, and if you just search for that, you're most likely to run into a bunch of listings because there are so many things that you could call this. Winnie was saying it was called the Buy Now, at the time, I didn't find anything when I searched for that. In the past few years since Coach started doing these cash and totes again, they have come out with them in several sizes and a variety of designs. This is, besides the completely plain ones, 
the most basic of the limited edition ones in terms of it doesn't have any color on the bag besides the color of the leather itself. I'm gonna try to get it where you can see the debossing on the front and see the design. So up here it says made in New York and then it has the horse and carriage which of course is trademark coach. This says coach and leather wear. And then there's some tiny writing right down here. And that reads, hold it here where I can see it, from materials that were imported, our compliance team wants you to know, no shame in being honest, right? Thank you and have a nice day. That's a very strange thing to write on a bag, but it's there and at least it's in fine print. I could have done without that and just had the lovely logo on the front here. Oh, and in terms of price, if you're looking for one of these, they retailed for $500. In Winnie's video, she said $495. On eBay, the person had this listed at $300. I added it to my watch list, planning to come back to it and probably buy it for $300. Before I could do that, I got an email with an offer to buy it for $250. So I did that. Didn't have to think twice about that one. I love the Coach Cash and Totes. And let me tell you why I changed my mind on this strap. It has to do with an experience I have with another Coach Cash and Tote. And that is this one that many of you will remember me having. I have three Coach Cash ins, so those two and this one, which I have stuffed at the moment. This is the Tom Wesselman limited edition print. I got this pretty recently off the Coach Outlet website. It's a boutique bag, all three of these are, but this one, the collection didn't end up being very popular, so they ended up on the outlet, and they still have bags there last time I checked. I think this particular one was sold out, but I've seen it pop up since it first sold out, so keep checking, maybe it'll come up again. I'll bring this a little closer so you can see it better. This, if you can't tell, is a vase with roses and then what I'm guessing is a, another vase or a bottle of perfume. And then around it's just brown. Let me show you the inside of this one because it's different from the other. Oh, and look at this. It came with a leather strap. That's exactly what I was saying. Should be on this bag. They are a different color brown though. That's a shame. So you remember the one I just bought has a leather interior, but the Wesselman bag has a textile interior. The layout is the same on the inside, and that textile is the same that was inside the pocket on the other one, and it has that little chain. And I should correct myself, I don't know if that chain zipper pull is specific to Bonnie Cashin or if it's just one of the hallmarks of the vintage coach bags, because I do have vintage coach bags that aren't Cashin, at least I don't think they are, and they have those zipper chains. So you can see these two are different colored leathers. This is the one I just got, this is the Wesselman, and then here's the larger size that's closer in color to the Wesselman, but still they're not exactly the same color. Okay, so back to these thin straps that I've promised to talk about several times now and still haven't gotten around to. This Coach Cashin is a 32 centimeter and I have carried this with a lot of stuff in it where it's been very heavy and I've carried it handheld. It does come with a leather shoulder strap. I've done that as well. And what I thought logically is that these tiny little handles, especially with a heavier bag, would really dig into my fingers when I was carrying it, but they didn't at all. It was actually comfortable. So that's the reason I've changed my mind about them. The thin straps are a trait of the Bonnie Cashin bag. So that's why they put them on these redesigns. And just to give you a size comparison of the 32 next to the 22, it is quite an enormous difference. There are also a few other variations of cash and bags with different handles, but these are the ones in my collection. I love them. Eventually I'll probably end up with more cash and totes because I love them that much. I love any of these box shaped bags. I find them so easy to use. Oh and no, I didn't get scammed. Yay. That's always a good thing. Well, thank you so much for sticking around and sharing this with me. Let me know if you have any questions. And that brings us to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Hope you got some helpful information about these bags, even though they're so hard to find. And I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye.